Welcome to your backyard. I decided to move a little further beyond my backyard today to explore a place that I used to visit a lot when I first moved here. It's not too far away, but it's not as close as the places I usually go. It's about an hour drive, but I have had a lot of fun here. But it's part of the Soratown mountain range and is known as the mountains away from the mountains. Right before I came up here, I read what I thought was a pretty interesting story. It tells tales of some local rumors that go around that say that rattlesnakes were introduced to this area to control the deer population. And more rumors say that coyotes and mountain lions were also introduced into this area to control the deer population. Now, while there are rattlesnakes here, native, they definitely weren't introduced. Mountain lions go by many names. Cougar, mountain lion, catamount, panther, puma, and maybe they're making a comeback in some area, but mountain lions have been extinct here for a long time. Sometimes bobcats can be confused for cougars. If you just get a brief glimpse of it, I wouldn't be surprised if people confused deer or dogs or something else for a mountain lion. The coyote I've always found to be a fascinating story. They're not really native to the east coast. But that doesn't mean that they were introduced here. Since the 1980s, they've been spreading east, and their population has grown. And why is that? It's mainly because there are no more wolves on the east coast anymore, besides some small areas on the coast that harbor red wolves. But it's thought that since the 1960s, the gray wolves are completely extinct from the east coast. And the coyote has been spreading this way ever since to fill that void. So I made it to the top, and right beyond these rocks here, we should be able to get a pretty good view of the surrounding area. And from what I'm told, it's one of the best views in the state. So, are you ready? Let's go take a look. There are a few waterfalls in that mountain that I planned to explore that day after visiting the summit. But after spending a few hours up there and having the whole place to myself, when I got down to the bottom, it just was too busy for me to be able to get any decent shots. And I'd been thinking lately, even though I love the wooded and lakeshore trails that I've been exploring, there's one thing that they're lacking, and that's a meadow or a field. I've been wanting to find a clearing in hopes of finding a fox or deer roaming the forest edge or an open area where I could spot an owl or a hawk, but there just does not seem to be anything like this on the trails that I frequent. So after leaving the mountain, I decided to go back to the beaver swamp, and I've been studying the red-headed woodpecker, which I recently found out is actually on the red list. Previously on the near-threatened list, because of habitat loss, hunting, and competition with other cavity-nesting birds, the population, which was once prevalent through North America and Canada, saw an over 60% decline in the past 40 years. As well as a blight in the early 1900s that killed most of the American chestnuts. And even though they eat insects, apparently they're nut lovers and store caches of nuts in tree cavities for winter. Their status has been raised to least concern because of protected habitats like this preserve and emerging beaver swamps. But they're still on the watch list and I feel pretty lucky to have a place so close to home where they thrive. I have even seen some juvenile red-headed woodpeckers here. They have a dark gray head and won't get the red head until they mature. Back to my search for the meadows and fields, I realized that maybe there was a place that I could search that's been right under my nose this whole time, but are actually man-made, and that is clearings created by pipelines and power lines. And I remember reading in one of my field guides 
that these easements actually can be good habitats when they border natural areas like the swamp or the reservoir. I remembered a few places where the trails cross clearings like these and decided to check them out and see what I could find. I waited not far off the trail and I immediately saw a big bird in the distance. So thinking this was probably a good sign. And then I scared a few deer back into the woods and then I heard something coming through from the other side. A coyote was running through the trees towards the edge of the clearing and I was only able to grab a few shots of her running before she stopped behind a tree, saw me, and disappeared back into the woods. This whole time I had been thinking that there are no meadows and fields, walking back and forth through these clearings that cross some of my favorite trails, and they might just hold more wildlife than I imagined. Until next time, what's in your backyard?